This is everything you need to know for eighth grade math, part 13. So we're talking about proportional and non-proportional relationships. And so basically there's a couple of things that we can look at to determine if an equation or function is proportional or non-proportional. So if it's proportional, we're going to see some kind of equation that looks something like y equals, and then we're going to have something like say 3x, okay? Notice we don't have any plus or minus after this because there's not going to be any y-intercept. It's just going to be zero, okay? We could also have y equals one half x. The main thing is that we have x and some number in front of it, even if it's one, and then we don't have any plus or minus after that. Now, on a graph, that's going to look like this. So here's my y-axis and my x-axis. And so the two things that we need in order for a relationship to be proportional is it has to be a straight line and it has to pass through the origin. Okay, so the origin is zero, zero right there. And so as long as it's going through that point and is a straight line, then it's going to be proportional. Okay, so it could look something like that. Okay. Now, for non-proportional, it's going to be just the opposite, okay? So an example of a non-proportional equation would be y equals 2x minus 4, okay? The reason it's non-proportional is because it's not going through the origin now because we have a y-intercept of negative 4, okay? So that one is non-proportional. Another example of non-proportional would be y equals x squared, okay? Because that is not a linear equation. We have a squared in there, and so if we were to graph that, it would not be a straight line, okay? So same thing, I'm gonna draw my y-axis and my x-axis, and so an example of a non-proportional graph would be we could draw a parabola or a curved line like that, okay? So it's not a straight line. It's also not going through the origin, okay? And then another example, I'm just gonna draw it on the same graph. If we have a straight line that's not going through that origin, right? Then it's non-proportional, okay? So I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see more like this, go ahead and follow this account, like this video, and leave a comment. That way my videos show up in your For You page later on. We'll see you next time.